the, the fact that, you know, things weren't being reported. You're listening to Margie DeBerry. She's the compliance manager for Riviera Beach's special utilities district. Her job is to ensure the utility complies with state and federal laws. In this audio recording from the mayor's investigation and staff morale, she says then utility director Michael Lowe asked her to wait on reporting violations to the health department. Mr. Lowe said um, that we should probably wait until the health department asks for more information. Um, and so he, you know, he didn't say to not provide it, but he just said that we should probably wait before providing additional information. DeBerry says assistant utility director Stephen Doyle agreed. And when I spoke to Mr. Doyle, he said that that was, you know, the right thing to do. DeBerry said she ignored her supervisors and sent the information to the health department. Documents we uncovered show the health department in Palm Beach County is investigating the city for breaking the law 189 times. The compliance manager says all the violations were avoidable. Any uh, current violations we have, those could have been avoided again had the information been um, reported properly and had the follow-up actions been taken. Michael Lowe was fired. Doyle left the city shortly after that. But DeBerry says water plant superintendent Melvin Pinckney was in charge of reporting results of test measurements to water a technical term for water quality tests. I did receive confirmation from the lab, which gave them instructions to start sending all reports to Mr. Pinckney and Mr. Doyle. So, but Mr. Pinckney had been receiving reports from February, at least to my knowledge. Not reporting tests made up about 80% of violations. We first reached out to the city about the recording in September. The city asked us to hold the story for one day so it could gather documentation. More than a month later, a spokesperson told us it has no approved statement or any documentation. 